morning guys it's like 4.30 in the morning uh, I'm in San Francisco this is my first real day here I arrived yesterday but I got a bit of jet lag so I'm up pretty early I'm gonna spend the day planning because uh, this is the first day of a five and a half week trip up, up along the coast to Seattle and Maybe even Vancouver. Well, anyway, that's not what this is about because it's just one thing I want to show you. And that's how I travel with my camera gear. I have two F-stops bags. I have the Chilopa and I have the Guru. But the I use the Chilopa for, um, you know, for going from A to B. Going from. Let me see if I can get some light here for you. Uh, I mean, going from when I'm going from Denmark to the U.S. or any other destination, I use the Chilopa to have all my, as you can see, probably see, have all my camera gear in here. Um, I need some more light. Let me just see if I can. There you go. That helped. Well, anyway. All my camera gear in here, my D3S, my GoPros, my lenses, my D800, Polaroid, uh, yeah, and some lenses for my Olympus OMD. Uh, but the other one, if you don't have like the ICU, uh, I can't remember what it stands for, in compartment unit or whatever. These ones. I have two. A medium and a small, but still the pro version, so they are a bit thicker. Uh, and then I have the, in my check-in bag, I have my Guru. It gets really flat. You can see here when there is no unit in it. So I used to have this that one in my chicken bag. And then once I get to my destination I use the the medium size because that's the biggest you can have in the guru. I use that one. Oh, this is a bit <laughs> this is a bit tough with one hand. unit, the small one, and then we have the medium one, maybe I should just zip it up here, so, yeah, take out the medium, medium one as well, that's the medium one, and then I just pop in the medium Guru, like this. And I have a small bag for carrying around when I'm at my destination with just the, I mean, with just the main, I mean, some batteries. <laughs> with just, uh, yeah, my camera and some few lenses. I'm not carrying around everything. Uh, the, the D3, uh, the D3S is just, yeah. I'm gonna use that for like time lapses and maybe some street photography. I don't know. Anyway, that's an easy way, and that's the brilliancy of the F-stop bags because, yeah, it gets like the Goro gets really small when you don't have a ICU in it and you can have it in your chicken bag yeah I think that's five <laughs> minutes of nonsense but uh, yeah hopefully it helps you just a little 
now. Gotta take out my computer as well. Gonna need that in a few seconds. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope that, I don't know, inspired you for an easy way of carrying two camera bags when you're out traveling. Uh, I mean, because of course you can use the Chilopa for, for backpacking, uh, but I think it's too, a little too big and it doesn't have, I mean, on the, it has one pocket out here, uh, which is kind of nice, uh, but the, the Goro has, uh, let me show you, the Goro has like this, and then it has this one, where you can put like small things, compact flash cards, and you can have some more out here, and I kind of like that, uh, and there's still some room for some stuff on top of this one. Maybe even a large one fits in here, actually. Properly. Anyway, I use this for other things. So, that's why I like to carry around the Guru when, when I'm walking. It's not so big, and it has these one out here as well. Oh, you can see. Let me do it like this for water bottles and so on. The Chiloba doesn't have that either. Uh, Anyway, I think that's all I have to say about my camera bag setup. Uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you soon and uh, I'll make a whole lot of more videos from this trip. See you later. Bye-bye.